Hello Year 10, it's Miss Brennan here. Um, today I'm going to be speaking to you about your lesson that you're going to be doing, which is to be drawing an outline of a object. This is what your final outcome is going to look like. It is going to be a biro and coffee drawing. You're going to be drawing from observation in order to achieve this piece of work. I here have chosen a perfume bottle and this is what the final piece of work is going to look like after a couple of lessons. Today what we're going to achieve though is we're going to just achieve our outline. So whilst we are thinking about our outline and what we need to do to get there, you can see here what a successful outline looks like. You can see that I have drawn neatly and that everything is in proportion. So to start us off, you are going to need a piece of paper. This piece of paper shouldn't be any smaller than A4. You also need to have a pencil that is nice and sharp. You need to have a rubber ready to hand because we are just drawing an outline today and therefore if we go wrong anywhere whilst we're sketching, we need to be able to rub it out. You also will need a ruler or if you don't have a ruler from the stationary packs that you should have collected, any other kind of object like another pencil where you can measure um, so that everything is in proportion when we are drawing. So to begin with, you're going to need to select a object that is personal to you and your theme of surfaces need to be taken into account. So everyone should be selecting their own individual objects. Here I have chosen a perfume bottle. You can either draw from the actual real life object which will be more difficult because it's a 3D live object and therefore drawing the outline will be more challenging but please do stretch yourself if you feel as though you should be and you know your target grades are sevens and above. If you um, are struggling with your drawing I suggest you refer to a image. This can either be done by a printed image um, anything that you may see in a magazine or newspaper that relates to your theme of surfaces um, and you can also work from a mobile phone image as well if you cannot print something off. So I've got my image here and I'm going to start my drawing now. To begin with drawing I need to think about my sizes and making sure everything's in proportion. I can draw this object here to size, but I'm going to draw it slightly bigger just to show you what you need to do in terms of your measurement. So I'm going to start my drawing off at the top of the page because I want to make sure that I'm using the whole piece of paper. As you can see here, I'm drawing quite a light sort of pressure so that if I go wrong anywhere, I can easily rub it out. Now, in terms of proportions, that means measurements and sizes. So I'm going to measure this image by looking to see how many of the bottle top lids go into the body of the perfume. So I can measure this either with a ruler or I can measure it marking it from a pencil. So I'm going to measure it marking from a pencil and I can see that where my thumb is here, that's where the bottom of the bottle lid is. So I'm going to measure to see how many bottle lids I've got in my body. So I'm going to go one, make a little mark, two, make a mark, three, make a mark, four. So I've got four of these in the rest of the body of the perfume. So I know that in terms of measurements, all I need to do first of all is draw out my bottle top lid and as you can see here I'm drawing in quite a sketchy style. The reason I'm drawing in a sketchy style is I'm just trying to get down the basic information to begin with. Once I've got the basic information and I'm happy with it, I can then work at getting my line of best fit. So I'm working quite lightly. I'm making sure that things are the correct shapes. 
so I can see that there isn't a flat top on there so I'm making sure that it's curved at the top now I know that four of these bottle top lids will create the rest of the body so I'm going to start counting one two three four and as you can see now that shows me I know where the bottom of my bottle of perfume is going to go and I can see the bottom is not flat it's ever so slightly curved now when I'm talking about things like being flat and curved okay I'm talking about accuracy of your drawing so now I'm going to start to sketch out where the shape of the bottle is going to go I know here that I've got a section which needs to come down and I can see this isn't flat it's also curved ever so slightly so I'm going to make sure my line there is curved and I'm going to continue drawing in this quite sketchy style so that I can get down my basic information now when I get to doing the curve this side I'm going to struggle because my hand because I'm right handed I can naturally curve this way but it doesn't feel as natural for me to curve this way my hand feels a little bit awkward doing that so if that's the case you can turn your piece of paper round so once you've turned your piece of paper around, um, you need to also turn your image so that you are working from observation. I can see that my hand, um, because I'm right handed, goes much more naturally in a curved direction and angle by having the paper the upside down way. So I'm working in a light sketchy style just to draw out my basic shapes to begin with and then as soon as I've done that I can turn the paper back round and my image that I am working from and I can see that I have been able to create a good curve shape here and I've done it with more ease because I've worked in a more natural flow style with my hand. So once you have created your outline and you are happy with the basic shapes that you have got, you need to start thinking about adding accuracy to your drawing. In order to add accuracy, this is all about how we observe what it is we are looking at, be it either a actual object in front of you or an image like we have here. So I'm going to start looking at my image and look at where the finer details are. So here on the neck of the bottle before the lid, I can see that the edges have got some curves and some bumps to them rather than it just being straight down like I've drawn in my sketch. So now I'm going to start to observe my image more closely and I'm going to start to add in these finer details that I can see. Drawing with accuracy is going to get you a grade 6 or above and you need to ensure you have accuracy added to your drawings as soon as you have got your basic shapes down and they are in proportion and you are happy with the basic shapes to begin with. So here you can see I'm starting to add my details. I'm making sure that these areas are curved and not flat because I can see on my drawing and on my image that they are actually at a slight curved angle. So as soon as I've started to add these details in, I'm then going to begin to add the details on my bottle top here. So because this image is actually symmetrical, so I have a line of symmetry down the middle, it means that it's the same on both sides, the outline is, I'm going to be able to use that line of symmetry to understand where my details need to go in the bottle top lid. So 
here, when I'm drawing and talking about accuracy, it's all about the details. Accuracy means your drawing should look exactly and precisely like the picture or object in front of you. So I'm going to add these details now and I'm going to count the ridges that are on this bottle top. So there's one, two, three, four, five. So as I go down here, I can draw those in and I can make sure that they're slightly curved. I can see that these in the middle are slightly wider apart. And as we go to the edge, they get closer together. In fact, there's one, two, three, four, five. And then there's a slight six just in that corner there. So I'm going to ensure I've got that added as well. So one, two, these are quite widely spaced out. And when I talk about width, I'm talking about size and therefore I'm talking about proportions as well. This is the third. This is the fourth. And as you can see, as we go along, they're getting closer and closer together. But I'm still ensuring I've got this curved shape. I need to ensure it's curved so that it has the form of the object that I'm drawing. It's a ball domed shape and therefore the curve creates that shape and form. And I know that the other side is going to be the same because this object is symmetrical. It is the same on both sides. So I'm going to draw that in now. Now that I have drawn this, I'm going to start to look to see where I can add some slight details. So here, I can see some details in the bottle, in the actual glass. So I'm going to add those details into the glass formation that we've got. And I'm going to add this very, very lightly. And you should only be adding these kind of details after you have got your basic shapes and you're happy with those you know they're in proportion and you know that they are accurate i'm going to start to just add where some of my shadows will end up going and i'm just going to firm up where i'm happy for my outline to be this needs to come out a little bit more So here I can see that I need to bring these in a little bit. It needs to come in a little bit more slightly at more of an angle before I start to add the details that are in this bottom part of the glass. And I'm going to start to add the details that are in the bottom part of the glass here. I can see that this isn't a straight line. This is actually a curve, a very slight curve. So I'm going to make sure that it's a curve on my drawing and I'm drawing very lightly still just to make sure that if I go wrong anywhere whilst I'm sketching and drawing then I can rub that out. As you can see I'm just starting to add where some of my shadows might go. I'm only adding those just so I've got a general idea for when I start to use my biro later on. I'm not doing any shading because this is going to be drawn in with biro at a later stage. So I'm just adding a few lines very, very faintly so that when I do work with my biro on the next lesson, I will understand and I will know roughly whereabouts my shadows 
and my highlights are going to be once you have drawn in all of your details of your object your personal object which links to your theme of surfaces once you have drawn everything and you have got every detail before you move on to adding tone like you would do normally with your pencil you actually need to get rid of any pieces that you're unhappy with so I'm just continuing to draw in my details but when I look around here I can see I've got some tiny very faint lines that the camera might not be picking up but I can see them in person so I'm just going to get rid of those so that when I'm left with my drawing I'm happy with the outcome that I have got. This drawing has been drawn with accuracy, it's in proportion, I've got some faint lines and some faint details just around here showing me where some of my dark shadows will be when I start to add my biro. So year 10, I'm going to leave you with this and the task that is in class charts. Don't forget we're working in a sketchy style to begin with so that if we go wrong we can rub it out you're using your pencil lightly measurements are all correct and that when you start to finalize your drawing you are drawing with accuracy you have got detail you're showing some faint areas where there will be shadows when you start to do it with your biro next lesson Okay, have a good drawing session. This should take you about an hour, maybe an hour and a half, depending on the difficulty of your drawing. I want you to leave it at just an outline because next lesson, I'm going to show you how we're going to move on and how we're going to create a biro piece of work from our outline. And as you know, the final outcome will then be to add some coffee and you will be working with biro coffee and it will become a mixed media drawing from observation from your theme of surfaces thank you